Today we're going to look at harvesting some sweet corn. Obviously we need to make sure that it's, it's ready for harvesting. As you can see the silks have died off on the top, and that's usually a good sign. And it normally takes about 20, 20 days for it to uh, ripen fully after the, the silks have been fertilised. So I'm just going to gently peel some of the outer leaves back to reveal hopefully a decently formed cob. So there's the, there's the kernels there. You see how the silks are all attached to each individual kernel. So this is a variety called Painted Mountain and as you can see we've got different coloured kernels on it. Now to see if it's ready what you need to do is just with your thumb just push that into the, the kernel there and that one's just about gone over. Let's see if there's another one we can do. What you should get, if they're ripe, is just get a milky sap. Yeah, yeah that one's gone over. So that one really is no good for eating. No. But what you can do is save that kernel, dry it out, and replant it as, as seed next okay. year. Yeah. yeah, it's not a complete waste. Obviously, you've got loads of seed there. Yeah. Um, but there's a fine line between it being ready and uh, having gone over. Yeah. If you're going to harvest them, all you need to do is um, just snap snap the whole cob off like that and then just peel it all back when you're ready for eating it and as you can see it's a shame about that because that's a nice yeah nice curly see it's been well fertilized because you've not yeah. not got any missing no. kernels but oh, with that hand pollination with it that's the hand <laughs> yeah exactly yeah so you can see that that definitely worked yeah, as i say we can we can if we want save that seed just dry it out somewhere for a week or so somewhere warm um, and dry and then you can pick the, the kernels off and, and save them in a the best thing to save them in is, is in a like an envelope right. a, a dry paper bag and it just keeps keeps all the moisture off them and you can sell them again next year yeah yeah um, just check that uh, what variety it is because obviously yeah. some won't be won't be fertile but as a, as a rule um, you should be able to sow those and, and get some um, plants next year. Yeah. It's a very fine line, so normally from what we call the, the silk yeah. um, going brown, um, from fertilising the silk, um, it's usually about three weeks, 20, 21 days right. um, for it to be, to be ripe. Um, but yeah, that one's slightly softer to be fair, but it, again, there's, there's no milky sap in it. You can see there where the, the pollination's not quite worked. Ah, right. So that's what, what you'll, you'll get yeah. if it's not been pollinated 100%, whereas on that side, it's spot on. Uh, you see all the silks attached there. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. So that, that one's ripe. Yeah. You it's see how the milky there. sap on my thumb. Sorry about the dirty thumbnail. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> but a gardener's uh, curse. Yes. Uh, so, but you can see that that really is quite sappy. Yeah. And it's clear. Well, it, it's like a, a a thin milky sort of texture. Yeah. That one. That one is edible. Yes. Yeah. So obviously, you cook, you can you'll cook that. Yeah. Um, oh, get it on a plate with a nice dollop of butter on it. Yeah. It'd be lovely that. Obviously, the best thing to do with it as well when you've picked it and it's right, just eat it straight away, because that's, that's when you've got all your best yeah. um, flavours in there. Subscribe to the ME YouTube channel to be notified of regular Dave's Corner videos.